last we have arrived at Lua. We're heading on the two-vehicle hand-drawn pont across the Luanginga River straight into Lua National Park. Kuali Camp is our base for the next two days. It's right in the south of Lua. On our first drive going around Lua, we were surprised to find about a dozen spotted hyenas walking around during the middle of the day. It was very hot, temperature was about 40, 42 degrees and they were only too happy to lie around in the little bit of water around.
This is pelican pans on lure planes. There's absolutely hundreds of wattled cranes, crested cranes, pelicans, and various other species that migrate here. As we're getting further north, we're seeing more and more wildebeest with their babies heading down south. Um, it's actually quite spectacular to see. Yesterday we didn't see half as many as we're seeing today. We're going to try and go a bit further and hopefully see some more.
as we were watching these Fulderbeers, we noticed that one of them looked like she was about to give birth on the run. So we kept our eyes on her and watched what was going to happen. The entire episode took about 10 minutes from the time that she lay down until the time that she got the little one up and running along next to her.
This is Lady Lua and her two male companions. They were brought in in the hopes that she would reproduce and unfortunately she didn't. They had just killed a wildebeest. On our way back to camp after a magic, magic day. Absolutely fantastic. back onto the pond out of Lua. We're going back today. Um, we're going to bush camp tonight. We're going to camp wild. No ablutions, no showers, um, nothing. We're going to travel along the Barotsi Plains, a very, very, very sandy road. Sean, can you hear me? Yeah, there we go. No, don't, don't worry, guy. Uh, everything's ba uh, fine back there. Let's just keep our momentum. But thank you very much for your concern. Thank you very much, guys. That's what I want to hear. Try and here and gather the whole convoy and just see how it goes here with the switch and how it looks.
thirsty guys. I said, these are the thirsty guys. There's an old Randy for you. Because it was so hot here and we were absolutely dying for a swim, we couldn't swim in the Zambezi because of the crocs. So we asked the locals if they would take us across um, to some pools and they agreed to take us across the Zambezi in some boats. And then we walked for about a kilometer to the other side until we found some shallow pools that we could just sit in and enjoy. Right, this is as we've come out of our campsite here, we've got to pay a hundred rand toll uh, to go along this road here. This guy's taking ages to write out the paperwork. This is at the Sioma campsite. In May last year, when we came through the border post here, it was absolutely covered in water right up to the roadway. Um, this is the border post going from Namibia back into Botswana now. We're going to go through Chobi back to camp to spend our last night together. Chobi is very, very dry 
it just shows you the difference in weather from May and this time now in October, November. There's hardly any water. The sides of the hills are just brown. To all of you out there that have subscribed, I hope you enjoy the videos. And to the people out there that haven't subscribed, please subscribe if you enjoy watching our videos. I don't know.